Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the Fallen Starlight going to give you, obviously, a plastic Beyblade review of the famous and rare Dragoon GT Galaxy Turbo. And yes, folks, I do have, I do have two of them, one by Takara and other Hasbro. And however, I switched the ending gears for the Dragoon Galaxy Turbo here. This is the Takara Tomi, because obviously it has the Japanese lettering here. And this one's the Hasbro. I'm using a Hasbro engine gear. It's decent, but it's not as effective as the Takara one. I'm keeping the Takara one in good condition. However, I am using the parts, the which are Takara, right here on the top, which are Takara branded. And this is the Hasbro. You know, as a as a mint condition. Well, this one's in near mint. It's in use, but I keep I'm gonna be keeping it in near mint condition. Alright, let's first start off with like a little small like intro, like a little background on Dragoon GT. Alright, Dragoon GT is a very rare Beyblade to own, especially nowadays, which like costs like over a hundred if it's like especially if it's new in package or new in box. And it's by, if it's by Takara, it would be cost like around a hundred over a hundred fifteen or hundred twenty dollars in USD in my in my yeah in USD price uh, I don't know about you international folks you know like in UK and Australia I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere around at least yeah somewhere around over a hundred GP or ASU something like that yeah All right, anyway there are there's there are at times that there is a Dragoon GT on eBay. You just have to keep you know like searching at times when you're like pretty much like almost twelve hours a day. Just go on just go onto eBay and type Dragoon GT and you'll find one. And I got these two uh, at winning bid auction on eBay, which it cost me at least forty bucks in USD. Yeah, that much. Yeah, but. Yeah, 40 bucks in on eBay. 40 bucks each one, which is nice. I got like at least like over a total of nine, like at least over 90 dollars for these two, which is not bad. Uh, just let's just be please be sure to check in the description below for the sellers that I bought these from on eBay. Oh yeah, and also that dragoon. Galaxy Turbo is the very last Beyblade, the plastic Beyblade that Tyson used in the Beyblade series in the season three, which is obviously G Revolution. Before you got the Dragoon MS, which is Malstorm. So yeah, let's go on with the review, shall we? And hopefully I can get this into focus. Yeah. Yeah, well. Well, anyway, here's the, the Dragoon GT. Oh, there we go. Nice. Here is the Dragoon GT Galaxy Turbo Attack Ring. Or if you want to call it short, you know, AKA for the Attack Ring, it is called, you can shorten it to AR for Attack Ring. And this and that is called the G upper because it has the G right here. And plus it's it's an upper attack type attack ring. Oh boy. Oh, my camera's about to fall down there. Oh boy, I wouldn't want that. Okay. This G upper attack ring is good for upper attack. As you may see, it has a good, you know, for the upper attack ring. Here's the dragon heads. Dragoon GT. Right there. Now let's get a closer look at the brand. And as you can see, ATBB Tree TX, copyrighted. Copyright 2004 Hasbro company, and there's the Takara 2003 China. 
Yep. There you go. The G upper attack ring AR. Now here is like now here is the ten wide weight this. It's a ten wide. Or if you want to run it to W D. on the right way oh yeah that's this is the 10 wide weight this WD you know if you want to shorten it as a uh, weight this okay come on there we go all right now here's the engine gear there's the Takara one and the sticker is in good condition Okay, let's go to a bit of a further detail on, on this engine gear. Okay, and this, which is this is more technically the spin gear, which is S S G. However, this is the engine gear for which stands for E G, right there, engine gear. And this is the tur left engine gear because obviously it's a left spin. Because Dragoon mostly has the left spin. No other Beyblade in the plastic generation had no other left spin besides Dragoon. And this called this engine gear is called Turbo. Because yeah. Because the gears inside are really like tightening up inside along with the the spring attachment, some sort of tiny steel attachment inside, which really tightens up the the gears in order to boost up this. When you even when when I'm winding it winding it right now, it feels a bit strong. So when you yeah, it will give it a very strong release for the speed. That's why it's called turbo. All right, now for the let's see, uh, let's, yeah. The blade base for Dragoon GT. Or if you want to shorten it for the blade base, you can call it to BB for blade base. And like I said, this is Hasbro. There's the letter B. There's no number encoding. They just simply like covered it. You know, to protect copyright infringement. You know. And as you may see, this is unused, even though the sellers marked it as used, but the blade base isn't really not that damaged. And this is called the, uh, what they say it's a first clutch base for Dragoon GT version, but this is more technically the final clutch base because this is the last plastic that Tyson used. I say Beyblade. Okay, now if you look closer right here, that this is like the like the like uh, some sort of release. For the engine gear, for the switch, right here. This goes like insert here, right there. And these are like the s attachments for the engine gear. And even if these like pull out, you can simply just pull, push it in here, and then you go like there. Now here's the CW. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's the customized engine weight. It's rubber. 
uh, and as they call it, Mel Grip. And this rubber is unused. I'm very, gra I'm very glad about that. It's very unused. It's in, gr it's in excellent condition. So here's the CW customized engine weight, Mel Grip. It is very good for attack, when, especially when you launch uh, as a good, decent, you know, launch for Dragoon GT. And plus, this will also act as a bit of endurance uh, when the speed slows down. And also, it goes to uh, act as a, some sort of also a good, like a final survive thing, you know, like, when, even if it's losing spinning, it will still move in a bit of a wobbly thing. Right there. I'll show you later. Alright, now here is the Bit Beast Dragoon GT. I mean, I want to get that much more, more focus there. Let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at Dragoon GT right there. Looking all badass. With claws showing up, and there's like an extra sharp claw, which is very badass. And this Japanese lettering here is, it says Dragoon. And you can go ahead and like pause this if you want. Pause the video right now and take a snapshot of this. And probably do like a sticker scan sheet if you want. So go ahead and pause the video and snap it right away. There you go. And of course there's nothing in the back. Alright, now let's go ahead and assemble. Back, Dragoon GT. Uh, yeah. And focus now. Alright. Alright, first off, let's start with the engine gear. Place the metal grip, CW, to the spin gear, engine gear. Turbo. Okay. Okay. Alright, now it's stepped in there. Alright, now to attach it to the final clutch base, or as they say, the first clutch base, for some reason. Okay, okay pull, these, pull these a bit all the way up from there, then insert it, and then push the attachments. There you go. Now apply the 10 wide weight discs. Now for the attack ring. Place it like this. Like that. And then turn this clockwise. Oh, nice. Hell oh, nice. Right there. Alright, now, uh, finally, the bit piece, the bit chip, Dragoon, snap it in there. Dragoon GT, Galaxy Turbo, complete. All assembled and everything. Now let's take a little bit of a slow motion here. Looking all nice right there. Very looking nice. Now let's look at the bottom spin. Of course, Dragoon is a left spin, so that's why I'm rotating it left. Now let's look at the side view. Okay, now let's look at the bottom. Bottoms 